Welcome back. I don't know about you, but the holidays for me means permission to indulge my sweet tooth. I'm not gonna think of a better place than the world famous Michael Mina restaurant. I'm here with the executive pastry chef, Lincoln Carson. Lincoln, Ollie, you talk how sweet it is. Thanks, Vicki. Thanks for joining us. So yeah, we put together a few of our seasonal desserts. Some of them are on the menu now. Some of them are coming up in the near future. Um, you know, and because it, everything that we do here at Michael Mina isn't just about the literal uh, item in front of you, but about the entire experience. You know, we thought it'd be great to try and pair all of these with, uh, with individual wines and kind of give you a clue into what we do. I was diving into this beautiful dish. Talk to me about it. It, it tastes like a panna cotta. It's exactly what it is. It, our guests can see that we've got a uh, persimmon on the bottom, but the entire thing was just a white, um, very young ginger uh, panna cotta. So it's very floral, not, not peppery like people associate typically with ginger. You know, so this is a recipe I'd like to share with our viewers. Um, so we've got fresh persimmons. You mean I'm going to pull that out of you, that top secret recipe, just for the viewers? Absolutely. You're going to reveal Not so top that. secret anymore. Okay, I guess the cat's out of the bag. Okay. Now, these. We've got squash with chocolate and ginger, pumpkin uh, pumpkin seeds or pepitas. Um, we've got our day cake with uh, maple ice cream, mm. apple, quince, fromage blanc. And then the, we've got our pair with financier cake, uh, with candied walnuts, pear puree, honey, um, and creme fraiche sorbet. Some of these flavors, some of these spices are just like Thanksgiving and Christmas and... Well, yeah, I think it's, it's that time of season, you know, it's that time of year. And we're, we're all about using seasonal products, so, you know, these are things that you get used to this time of year, that's what we're going to have on our menu. Chef, there's one thing that's missing. I feel that it, they're perfection, but there's something that's missing. And what is that? Well, the pear, there's something to wash it down with, don't you think? What are sweets without the sips? Joining us now is lead sommelier, Josiah Baldovino. Josiah, what Vicky. are we pouring? So uh, here we have the Eric Bordelais uh, pear cider coming from Normandy, France. So what does this go with? Good times. Oh, it's good times. <laughs> and the pear dessert, which Beautiful. is really good. Um, yeah, so I think pear cider, or cider in general, is definitely overlooked. Um, it's very affordable. It's really, really good. And it's just very fresh and clean. Doesn't really interfere too much. Uh, more of a palate cleanser for a dessert wine, I would say. It is. It's, mm -hmm. it's got a holiday feel to it. Yep. And then what are we looking at here? This gorgeous amber colored. So drink. this is a really cool wine coming from Napa Valley. It's a Oro Puro. It's a Sauvignon Blanc Semillon uh, blend. Uh, but it done in a sauterne style, mm -hmm. so it basically has a special type of fungus. I know it sounds weird, but it's actually it's called... It's the noble. Rot. Rot. Exactly. Wow, you should take my job. <laughs> no, you have the name Baldovino. You were born yeah. to right. drink wine. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you're going to get a little bit of sweetness. It also has a bit of this kind of saffrony quality to it, mm -hmm. which I would say is a really... Uh, predominant uh, note in uh, any kind of grapes that's been afflicted with botrytis. And what would it complement? So with that one, we're gonna be doing it with the uh, date dish here. Um, it just has enough spice to kind of play along with the spice that uh, Chef Lincoln has used in this uh, dessert. And this one here, a little darker. So that one is actually a fun one, and a lot of people kind of, uh, they question my pairing sometimes, because this is actually a Marsala. So this is a very awesome Marsala from Sicily, made by a very famous winemaker called Marco Di Bartoli. And I like to pair that with the uh, butternut squash uh, dessert with the chocolate. It's just a nice kind of off the beaten path pairing, but definitely works really, really well. So last but not least, this is the uh, Vietti Moscato d'Asti. So this one also oh. has a slight little fizz to it. Right. Um, really kind of clean, sweet flavors, uh, but almost like refreshing in a way. It's like adult Sprite. It's festive. Yeah. Let's toast to that. Cheers. Thank you. Happy holidays. Happy holidays.